G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum, where we are sort of preparing to go to the Reef Islands, but we've got a little bit of a problem. We don't have enough money to buy the ticket. Now, we have actually been blessed with rain this morning, which is fantastic, because that means we should be able to go to Jimmy, maybe sell a few things, hopefully we have like, I don't know, stacks of 50 of things uh, and yeah we should be able to make enough money to buy the plane ticket to well it's not a plane is it it's more like an airship we'll be able to buy the airship ticket and we'll be able to make our way to the reef islands for a little bit more of an adventure so that's the plan guys uh, obviously there's a whole bunch of stuff that we still need to do before we go so I'm just sort of rushing away to try and do all of that stuff but yeah I mean we got incredibly lucky with the rain I reckon um, I, I didn't even check the uh, <laughs> the the weather station before sort of wrapping up uh, the day in the previous episode and yeah I didn't even know we were gonna get rain today so there you go everything works out in the end so that's nice uh, yeah, I just don't really know what we're going to be selling to Jimmy, but we'll figure it out when we eventually make our way into, uh, the workshop today. So, let's just drop the hunks of meat there, let's see if we can drop our Kwandongs as well. And, yep, it's 8 o'clock, they should be eating, you would hope. There you go. And let's do the milking and the shearing. Brilliant. Okay, now it's dealing with the rest of the farm. And also the fertilizer situation needs to be tended to as well. Uh, speaking of fertilizer, let's just stash that away. Grab onions and beetroot seeds there drop these off. Yeah, it looks like they've both eaten their food, which is good. And they seem to be hanging around here, which is a safe zone, obviously. So, happy about that as well. But I am sort of rushing a little bit here, guys, because uh, obviously I would like to spend as much time uh, in the reef islands when it's still daytime to try and spot the shark statue and that's really what we're going to be aiming for this time around um, and I'm gonna try not to get distracted with other stuff though I would like to pick up some pineapples while we're there uh, and yeah that's because well in the previous episode we sort of tested out the whole pineapple thing where we were growing those pineapples and it doesn't seem like you're able to propagate them so uh, I don't know what the point is to plant pineapples, aside from maybe decorating a space with some pineapples, uh, if that's really your thing, but, um, I don't know, I, I prefer flowers for decoration, to be honest, rather than, you know, fruit plants. So, yeah. If we're going to make any, uh, can we actually drop the pineapple into the billy cans? I forget. Can we make pineapple jams? Uh, but anyway, if we want more pineapples, the only way is to actually take them from Reef Island. I was almost going to say Beetroot Island, since I'm dealing with all these beets. Alright, still a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, time for all of the replanting. Let's just take a look at the onions. Onions look fine. So yeah, let's just get these replacement beetroots in. In hindsight, I could have maybe brought, uh, you know, a little bit more fertilizer. Tried to fertilize a few of these patches, but that's okay. I think we'll get like what? At the very least, a couple more harvests, or maybe even three. 
before the season ends. And from there we'll be dealing with autumn. And yeah, we're going to be frantically trying to grow those pumpkins, obviously. I can't remember what else we grow in autumn. We'll soon have to figure all of that out anyway. So. Brilliant. And we've got just a little bit more over this side. So Cherry Road is also ready, and that's reminded me. I'm probably not going to worry about picking the cherries today, though, but it has reminded me that we do have plenty of cherries, and perhaps maybe that's the thing that we focus on selling to Jimmy today um, to get the money that we need to go into the islands. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea, actually. I will take the, uh, the apples because... We have started, you know, making those apple jams recently, so definitely need a little bit more of a batch. Okay, so let's head on over. Oh, wow. Okay, these are ready as well. And all the things are needing tending to when we're in a hurry to do stuff. Okay, right. Uh, let me just drop some stuff here. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. We can drop a few things here. This we can process. A lot of stuff going in there. Um, I've got some bananas that we can consume, uh, you know, if we need just that extra little bit of oomph, uh, to keep us going. I totally forgot to stash the onion seeds. Uh, we've got a street lamp which we need to also hand over to someone. Uh, I'll drop that there for the time being. Proc tooth. Yeah, good times. So let's take a look. Yeah, we've we've got cherries, so we should be able to just do like a stack of fifty, and that's okay. We won't sell anything else. I hope that's going to be enough money. Actually, that's a bit risky, isn't it? Uh, we might need to sell something else. I I reckon. Um, let's see. Can I sell him coffee? like another stack like that because we've got plenty of coffee I feel uh, anything else that we can sell Ooh, okay tomatoes yeah that's a lot of tomatoes again I just don't want to find ourselves in a situation where we don't actually have enough money so let's sell these three stacks and I think we should be pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Let's head on over. Yeah, unfortunately this is definitely a little bit of a delayed... Uh, flight. Because... We are having to go see Jimmy first. But I reckon it, as long as we stick to the plan, I think we can still have a, a pretty good time. So let's fly out there. Got to figure out where he is. Uh, there he is. Okay. We could maybe teleport, but uh, maybe that's sort of complicating things a little bit too much. Yeah, we could have maybe teleported there. That's alright. It's not going to take that long. So once we make our cash, I will probably just stash away uh, the cash that I don't want to lose, obviously. Or should I? I don't know. If we're not fighting a shark, I don't think there's really any risk of us dying. Um, well, we're not really going to die, are we? It's just 
passing out. If our HP reaches zero, we just simply pass out. <laughs> it's a friendly game like that. All right, here we are. Arriving at Jimmy's with no rain? That's a sight to see. Welcome back, Blue. Are you here to talk business? Absolutely, mate. So, let's get you to buy all of these things. Oh yes, all these bulk items. Plus my very, very fair bonus. I can give you 91,000. Take it or leave it. Oh my god, alright. Uh, guys, that's not enough money. Definitely not enough money. Okay, uh, I was not expecting that. Um, alright. We will have to speed things up a little bit here. Alright, let's go into town. Either we go back to Jimmy and sell more stuff, or another alternative is we could uh, check in with the Tucker Box and see what is being bought. Uh, okay. That's not really going to help us. Right. Uh, we didn't really make a lot of money, did we? What else? What else can we sell? That's going to net us a bit of money. Beetroot? Should we start selling the beetroot? Um, carrots, maybe? I'll sell a hundred carrots. And maybe a hundred corn. And... Maybe we can go with like two hundred tomatoes. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure how much money we're actually going to make from all of this. Um, 100. Honey. Honey's probably going to be good. Yeah, alright, let's 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 do all of this. See how we go. <laughs> oh man. This is not going great. Oh yeah, and the street lamp. Uh, for Clover. Let's actually go see her. She might give us some money for this. Clover. Welcome to Threadspace. How can I help you? I just want to chat and I want to turn in your order. Here you go. Thanks a lot, Blue. When I put up that post, I knew you'd be the one to pull through for me. Here's your 9,000 ink. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a small dent, but not nearly close enough. Go. Yeah, I feel like by the time we get into Reef Island, it's going to start getting dark already. Come on, Jimmy. There we go. Oh, yes, sweet. Okay, <laughs> we've made a little bit too much money now, but that's okay. 
better than less, obviously. Uh, right. So, I'm gonna teleport back and just thinking here if I need to do anything else. Probably drop the wool in for processing. Actually, one thing that we do need to do is we need to head back to the house, pick up the jet ski first. Uh, which way are we going? Wrong way. You know, I might actually just leave the wool in our inventory there. It's fine. <laughs> we don't, we don't need to drop it off immediately. Right. It's time for that holiday. Now, I really hope that towards the end of this, I remember that I need to pick up my jet ski again. Let's do it. Yep. Uh, one boarding pass, please. Thank you very much. Let's go. Sweet. Okay. So I've got all the things that we need. Uh, I'm just sort of concerned about fighting stuff if we do need to fight stuff. I'm gonna switch out to the alphabet here uh, because that just has a little bit more extra durability. Um, probably have the boogie board at the ready sometime soon as well. Um, can I drink any of this stuff while I'm in here? No. I'll have to wait until we're outside. Okay. Good times. Let's uh, switch things out here. So firstly, let's just put the jet ski down so we can pop something else in the quick bar there. Uh, and I reckon what I'll do is I'll chuck that in there, put the diving helmet on. Actually, do I need the diving helmet right now? No. Uh, what we are going to need is, um, we might need, like, the helmet to see in the dark later on. But yeah, I, I think the, the best thing to do is to just explore all of the islands. Make sure that we're looking at every nook and cranny of all of these islands to try and find the shark statue. Again, we've already shot ourselves in the foot uh, not being prepared with the cash for the day. And yeah, I should have known, I should have just like gone really crazy on the amount of stuff that we were going to sell rather than, you know, just go with a few stacks of 50 of certain things. Anyway, hindsight and all, but we are here and that's what matters. Will we stop for eskies? Uh, I think... I don't know. I don't know if we really want to stop for eskies, do we? I guess maybe we should because we can always sell all of the stuff that we find in the eskies. So it's not such a bad thing to stop for eskies. Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll swing back around this way. I feel like most of the islands spawn quite close to the starting point. Though I could be wrong. Anyway. 
And my experience with the previous time that I found the uh, the statue was that it was sitting on one of the larger islands. So I don't really know if that's always the case. Hmm. Nope. Uh, and we do have our metal detector as well, right? So metal detector is going to be important for later once we do actually find the, uh, the shark statue. an esky over there and this island is pretty big as well so I'm sort of curious to just walk around and make sure that we're not missing anything. And we're also trying to collect all of the, the eskies. You know what? Uh, I should have maybe grabbed the lanterns. We had like plenty of lanterns to sell, right? Got about the lanterns from the uh, from the undergrowth. Okay, no sign of shark statues here. Nothing there. There's just so many of these islands, they could be anywhere though. Uh -oh, we have quite a few islands together here. So, you know, could be a possibility that it might be here somewhere. Okay. Nope. There's a big island over there as well. Might be worthwhile. I don't know if we should be focusing on the bigger islands constantly or if the uh, statue may spawn literally on any form of island. this. I got a lot of these frisbees. But we may get to a point where we can't really carry anymore. Uh, these trees, I wonder if we can actually um, cut some of these down and actually get the seeds for them. Coral acacia seeds. Yeah, we could. And we could perhaps grow some of this somewhere. Um, we would have to introduce this biome, I suppose. Uh, what, what kind of biome is this? Tropical grass. Okay, so it'll be tropics. Summer lilies. Hmm. I don't mind the, uh, the acacia seeds. 
not gonna go too crazy, because this is a bit of a distraction. But I think that's enough seeds for now. We can start with, like, four. Did we even get another seed in that last one? Maybe not. They don't always give you seeds. Alright, um... Again. Let's focus up a little bit here. Put that on. It is getting dark. And, uh, we'll... Try and keep an eye out. Okay, we haven't even been to that island over there. There's this island. Nope. <laughs> Nothing here. Check what's in here. Grab all of that. Uh, just throw all of these out so we can grab our cooler. And I'll just reserve a little bit of space for other stuff, just in case. Yeah, I'll, I'll explore around this side. I wonder if it's better if we use this view. I don't know. I don't know if this is a better view or not. Might not be. Just do a hop and a skip to some of these islands. Mm. No joy. I'm gonna head back to the jet ski. We'll try and find another big island somewhere. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting this to be easy, actually. Uh, considering what we experienced during the stream, it was quite challenging to find. I guess you could simply get lucky and find it pretty quickly. Let's uh, try and go north a little bit. Nothing here. One pineapple there. Yeah, this is a pretty big island as well. I don't know. If I were... Trying to hide the the statue, I feel like it'd make sense for it to be on a bigger island. That way you can sort of cover it with shrubbery and stuff. But yeah, don't don't really know if that is actually the case or not. And whether or not there's just some program that's randomizing the spawn location, but... Uh, 
uh, where are we? We explored these two. Maybe I want to sort of check this area out a little bit. Yeah, and I'm actually kind of glad that I brought my helmet to just shine the way a little bit more. Make things a little bit brighter. Helps with the visibility a little bit more. Alright, it is already almost 11. So we're gonna start dealing with the gas soon. <laughs> um, and I'm afraid we're a little bit empty handed. Oh my god, no, we are not empty handed, guys. Check this out. Nice. Okay, uh, let me just clear up the area a little bit so we can actually see this thing properly. Uh, pockets are full, yep. I get it, I get it. Let's just, let's just throw a few things out. So I can just grab some of this stuff and yeah, that can go. All right, so that's our, our um, statue right there. Do need, I reckon that. And I think we just need to feed it, like, five uh, keys, right? So, let's do it. Okay. So, it gives us a treasure map. And as far as I remember from the treasure map, we can then ascertain where to find some nice treasures. I've marked an X on my map. Is it just the one? Oh wow, okay, it's just the one. <laughs> um, so all things considered, it is quite expensive, isn't it? Because you need five keys just to get the location of one treasure chest. Whether or not it's worthwhile is anyone's guess. I'm hoping it is because, you know, that's that's literally like, you know, a couple of rooms, like two and a half rooms worth of treasures, uh, worth of keys, right? So hopefully, hopefully we actually get some nice goodies here. But anyway, uh, our, our, our target is complete. We have found it. So, technically, we have now experienced the, uh, the shark statue. Grab all of those, throw that out. I said, throw that out. I think we'll get rid of, like, most of the frisbees. I don't actually know if the frisbees sell well or not, but anyway. Yeah, gas is here, so things are going to get a little bit harder for us. But since we're not really fighting anything or, you know, defending ourselves from danger, I don't think we have to stress too much. We'll probably just need to take, like, a bottle brush brew every now and then. Whoops, almost missed where we wanted to go. Uh, right here, somewhere, apparently. So let's actually take the brew right now. And yeah, so we need that. And now, there we go. All right, this isn't even like in deep waters, so <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. But anyway. Uh, let's get this open. An extra key. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. We got a beach ball. Oh, and another treasure map. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. And a mighty seed. Okay, that's not bad. 
And we have a blue wooden chest. I don't think that's really worthwhile. Wooden chests we can get from anywhere and we can paint them, so, you know, that's no big deal. But what is a big deal is the fact that we've got another one of these maps to look at. So let's grab that and let's actually learn where the next spot is. Very good. Very nice. On to the next. I am actually fully considering whether or not I want to spend another five keys at the uh, at the statue again because I think I can do that, right? I can spend as many keys as I want and it'll just keep telling you where treasures might be. I, I think maybe there are a limited number of chests that might spawn in the area though. So I don't know what the game does if you've exhausted the number of chests. Uh, oh, and if we do intend to come back for the shark statue, we'll, we probably need to mark that down, don't we? So let's do that. Because yeah, I, I would have totally forgotten where uh, the shark statue is. go. Easy enough. Alright, and no, this one. <laughs> this one was not really worthwhile. Although, I do like a little bit of fertilizer. That's always nice. We'll get rid of that. Chuck the fertilizer there. Hmm. You know what, guys? For the sake of you know, experiencing it. I think we should spend another five keys here. Try and learn another treasure chest location. All right, next one. We're obviously not going to find another five keys at this point. So, <laughs> you know, uh, this is probably gonna be the last one. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, we found a beach ball, and that's kind of cool. I don't think we've seen the beach ball before, so I'll be keen on actually playing around with that. We'll probably be able to leave the beach ball somewhere in the beach area. But yeah, I mean, when we got the frisbees for the first time, it's not like the doggos we're interested in the frisbee. I don't know about the beach ball though, but my guess is that it's just something that you can sort of throw around, which is still kind of cool. Oh, this is actually on the island. Okay. I was fully expecting that all of the treasure chests would be underwater, but apparently not. Oh, okay. We've got a few statues, got an opal, uh, opals are always welcome. Don't know about the rest, though. What's most worthwhile? I, I really don't know. I really don't know what's worthwhile to sell. But yeah. There you go. Unfortunately, we didn't find any Baconium, guys. Perhaps maybe uh, the game... I don't know. Does the game know how, how rich you are and how much Baconium you might have in storage? at home and perhaps maybe it might not give you very worthwhile items. I don't know. <laughs> now, um, considering where we're at with the game guys uh, and we have experienced the shark statue at least once, uh, I, I do know that I think the, the things that you can find uh, in the treasure chests basically correspond to the things that you find in the, uh, you know, in the mines. So technically we don't exactly have to come here to find the treasure chest. Um, sorry, the, the shark statue. But, um, you know, it's always a nice experience 
just making sure that we've seen everything that the game has to offer. But considering that, I don't know if we really need to come back here to Reef Island. So uh, I would like uh, your thoughts, guys, on whether or not we should come back, because it is 250,000 every single time we come here. It's kind of expensive. And if we are only finding the same stuff over and over, then, you know, it's probably not really worthwhile. Now, the beach ball is unique. So I'm sort of wondering whether or not there are other unique things that we haven't found. And if there are, and obviously, you know, you guys can let me know and I can consider coming back here to try and find said unique things. But uh, for now, I think we might be done at Reef Islands. And uh, instead of focusing on coming here every Sunday, we can save our cash and, you know, focus on completing our project, which We'll need a lot of attention, actually. We do need to go into the undergrove, get all the, you know, the vines. Uh, and obviously, we are also saving for that bloody halo that's going to set us back 50 mil. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking forward to the day that we actually pay for that. But you know what? For the content, guys, we may as well, right? What else are we going to use all of our digs for? Come on. Let's be real here. Alright, so before we're going to sleep, we probably just need to stash all of this stuff away. I'll start with John's place because uh, we have plenty of things to try and sell them. So that'll definitely happen tomorrow since it is going to be Monday. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Anything else I can flick over to him? I mean, that looks good, and if we're not going to Reef Island, I will actually sell all of the sort of uh, beach-related stuff. Or we could keep them, and I, I was sort of thinking whether or not we wanted to convert this area into a little bit of uh, beach as well. Could be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe. Um, we could always go back to Reef Island to get more of these things as well if we really, really wanted to. Um, paint. Let's go to the spare house, drop off all of the paint. And... Anything else we need to drop off? I guess just the stuff that we want to keep in the workshop. And yeah, I do need to take all of the Christmas stuff down, don't I? Let's start with this. Uh, we'll play around with this tomorrow, I reckon. Um... Why are we keeping bananas in this place? God knows. Wandongs. Brews and stuff. We'll get this processing. Uh, summer lily seeds. Yeah, I'm not gonna plant those, I don't think. But I will plant the coral acacia seeds. Uh, so we'll need to sort of think about a, a good place for that. Um, and yeah, we've got a few bits and pieces here to also store. Um, actually, might be able to start with chucking that away. Uh, we might want to recharge it, actually. Alright, let's grab everything else. Yeah, it looks good. Mm. 
Yeah, what a busy day. But I'm actually really glad that we managed to find the shark statue, considering we actually got into Reef Islands pretty late. Uh, so yeah. Not a bad feat. Um, oh god, the green chair. Yes, let's uh, drop that off for John tomorrow. And I think we're done here. Oh, sorry. Guys, I keep I keep forgetting that there's other stuff that we need to store. That. Anything else? Nah. Righto. It is time to call it a night. And uh, contemplate on the day that has been. Pretty good. Uh, I just wished that we brought even more stuff to sell to Jimmy earlier on in the day. But hey, you know, in the end we managed to find the shark statue. I think the miner's helmet came in pretty useful uh, to actually light the way while we were down there, so I was kind of happy about my decision on bringing that. So, uh, again, I'm not sure if we're going to go into Reef Islands again, uh, but if there's still stuff that you guys think that I might have missed from Reef Islands that I haven't found yet, let me know. Preferably if you can let me know, uh, without spoiling, that'd be nice, but, you know, just let me know if there's still stuff worth finding there. But if it's a matter of finding shards, baconium, all that sort of stuff, and the even the aquamarine, I mean, aquamarine is great and all, but... At the moment, I don't think there's not, uh, much of a use aside from making certain lights uh, with the blue color, which I'm probably not going to do. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.